All right, I just want to make this short video here. Let you know, as you can see, right there, right, right there, that picture right there. That's a tower that I have the privilege of putting some sectors on to send out Wi-Fi to different developments right out in that area to be able to be a internet service provider. Mine will be what they call a WISP, W-I-S-P, as this playlist here is exactly what this is about. I'm just letting you know that I got the tower. Now it's just a matter of getting internet there, which I have about three different providers. And I do believe I picked the one that I'm going to use because they can start me out at a very low tier. And I can actually grow and be able to get more higher tier from the same company. The other two companies, they want to start me up here. And then go up. Well, I don't need this yet. I need it down here. I need two or three steps here as I grow with clients. So that's the company I'm going to go with. And all I got to do is get up with them, tell them to start the process of getting the line there, get it turned on. I got to get the uh, tower climber. I got to get the radio sector wire the router and all that good stuff to actually get it to work then fire it up but before I do all that I got to do the good old footwork going out in the development around where I want to broadcast to and be a internet provider and see how many people I can actually get to sign up that would determine what tier of speed that uh, this hat don't want to sit too well on my head. I don't know why. I don't wear hats, but I like this hat. Yeah. That way it will tell me what tier that I need to start at. Now, I did get one of the individuals that I talked to. I cannot remember exactly who it was, but they sent me a nice book. And it has a lot of stuff in it. Has uh, harnesses, uh, two-way radios, testers, screwdrivers, um, drills, paint, stickers, vest, gloves, uh, headband, lights, duffel bags, oh, all kinds of stuff. Oh, let's see what else they got in here. Rope, pulleys, all kinds of stuff that you possibly use to put up a tower or in this field. All kinds of stuff. Most of it's harnesses, you know, things like that to help you climb. Um, but it's got some hand tools in here, like a wrench that or like cable connections, you know, you don't have to get adjustable wrench, get in that tight spot and you can't get your fingers in there to tighten that cable down. They got the tool for it, which that's really nice. Uh, wire cutters, nut drivers, electrical tape, ladders, tags to put on to close electrical, uh, disconnect box so nobody can get in it because you're actually working on whatever it's tied to fire extinguishers all kinds of stuff boots jumpsuits fluorescent vest mask because you never know where the tower is going to be sunglasses all kinds of stuff that's in this book that just might come in handy. Little miniature tripods. Do a temporary setup. I mean, it's got some good stuff in here. 
that I can probably use eventually over a period of time. But this is the book. So like I said, I got the tower. I've already talked to the owner themselves and they said, whenever you're ready, let us know. We'll call and get up with our um, tower climber. You have all your equipment ready and let us know where you want to put it, how high. He'll run the wire, bring it down, and then you can dispose the end of it to wherever you need it on the facility. Then it's just a matter of firing it up, put up some CPEs, clients, properties, equipment, sign them up on a package, whatever they need. If they want to surf the internet and send emails, check Facebook, watch videos on YouTube, send photos and videos, stream live, whatever it may be. We have a package that will fit them all. We even have some business packages that they can actually get as well if they want to run a business. If they do heavy uh, internet traffic, like to have three or four people actually working from their house, you know, home based uh, business, like they have three or four people working, they uh, sell stuff on Amazon or whatever, and they got multiple computers running, printers, and whatever. So we try to utilize different packages that will fit anybody. And um, if we have a business that wants to sign up, we can do a point to point. So they have their strict, uh, their line. They don't have to worry about tying with anybody else. They have a dedicated point to point. So we can uh, reinsure more that their speed will stay where it should be more accurate than multiple ones on a single access point. I probably will go starting probably tomorrow and doing the footwork and see how many clients out there that possibly want to sign up. See what they have now, if anything. If not, I can give them prices and all and give them the flyer that I have that explains what it is, how it works. And then it has the, light, uh, the list of prices on the very bottom of the sheet. And it has an email and a phone number. And they can take it from there. We got to see if we have enough to cover the overhead. Even if we just break even. That would be enough to get started. Because from all the stuff that I need to actually get it up and running on the tower, I can have that in three weeks and it'd be up and running, ready to go. But I want to be sure there's enough clients to make it feasible, practical to actually go through all that to actually, before I actually put it up and nobody wants to sign up, wasted a lot of time and money. Now I'll look somewhere else and find another location which I think I might have another one regardless if this one takes off or not. So look for them videos. I don't know how soon I'll be getting the tower up and ready, but I'll take you step by step, day by day, what it takes to go out there, footwork, knocking on them doors, and introduce yourself, tell them what you're there for, what kind of service you provide and how much money they could save. And they don't have to worry about if they have a problem, they don't have to worry about calling a big company and talking to John, talking to Susan, talking to Ray, talking to Bambi or whoever it may be for an hour or two and still hadn't got their problems solved. They call one number and they got three people that actually can come out there and actually solve their problem. They don't have to go through all that. The ones that's going to install it is the ones that they're going to uh, actually see come out there and actually repair anything. So it's going to be basically two or three faces that they're going to see regardless of what they're doing. Making a payment, getting repairs, upgrading, downgrading, 
installment, whatever. It's going to be them two or three people. That's it. And it's not all that waiting time or you call me, you know, you, we all know how it is when you call these big companies. They put you on hold and they try to do all this stuff and everything remotely and takes forever. And sometimes it don't resolve it. Well, we just send somebody out after we log in and see what we can do, if anything, by resetting it. Basically, that's all we can do is reset it remotely. That way we can take calls basically, you know, almost any time of the day. And if that don't fix it, we have somebody out there the next day. Not, well, it's Friday. We'll have somebody out there Tuesday. No, we'll have somebody out there, try to have somebody out there within 24 hours. Unless, of course, it's pouring down rain. You know, you really can't work out in the rain. But we'll always have backup equipment that we can temporarily sit in their yard and tie them in until, you know, we get that fixed. If we can't fix it within the hour after we get there, we just take one antenna down, put another one up, and log it into their account, and they're up and running. We don't sit there and try this and this and this and this and spend hours and hours of trying to fix something when we can take one antenna down off the pole or tower or whatever is at the house, you know, wherever it's mounted, put another one on it, have it, you know, sit in the van, configure it, if we need it for there, you know, if we decide we need it for their uh, location, we can sit in the van with the laptop, configure it, replace it, plug it in, they're back online. Then we can take the CPE that was given trouble, bring it back, see if we can figure out what it is, what's wrong with it, if it's repairable by, you know, wiping it all out, whatever it takes, and see if we can get it to work and test it in-house and if we can run it for 30 days testing it with no issues then we can deploy that one again we're not going to sit there and say okay we're going to see you in three days and then we come out there check it well we're going to have to get you another antenna it's going to take two or, no, two or three more days but that's a week no people don't want that because they're paying for that time that they're not able to get on the internet we want to turn it around in three days max. You call, we fix, done at most. So we're going to keep stuff actually in stock. And hopefully we'll be able to fix it within three days from the time they call. But hopefully within 24 hours from the time they call, hopefully we can go out there and all we have to do is take the radio down if we can't fix it in an hour. If we reset it, then reconfigure it for their property and it don't work, we take it down, put another one up, figure that one, and they should be ready to go. And worry about that radio after we get back into the house at the office. But we want to keep our clients up and running. But we will take you step by step, day by day, as we progress of getting the antennas up on the tower and setting up clients and whatever else of the goody stuff that we have to do to build a WISP. So if you're ever interested of running your own WISP, you can see how it's done. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll answer them as soon as we get a chance if you like this kind of video this kind of content hit the thumbs up and if you want to be notified hit that subscribe button share this video and other videos with your friends can't guarantee that you get a notification we all know how YouTube is it's electronics it don't always work 100% 100% of the time but it will increase your chances of getting notification when we actually put up a new video. And perhaps, you never know, we just might broadcast live from the tower as we are hooking up the wires and configuring the router 
and all that good stuff to get it powered on and fired up. Then perhaps we go take a CPE and sit it in the parking lot of Walmart a mile away and tie into the tower and see what kind of speed we get compared to the speed that actually we're getting to the tower. If we're getting 200, 400 to the tower, what will the CPE get? We'll see. Stay tuned. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.